Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, Into Tomorrow tech viewers. I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome back to another informative and, we hope, entertaining ITTV weekly update. You know, we're more than just a weekly video report. We also host a three-hour radio show every week covering technology and consumer gadgets called Into Tomorrow. In addition to our 188 AM and FM radio affiliates all around the U.S., you can hear our show anytime, 24-7, by visiting our website at intotomorrow.com or on our free apps. We stream the last seven weeks of radio broadcast so you won't miss a thing. Toys aren't just for kids anymore. In fact, a lot of technology has gone into the things we play with these days. Even something as simple as a ball isn't so simple anymore. Chris is here with a closer look at the Spiro robotic ball. I've been known to be a big kid. In fact, I've always said that I may be getting older, but I refuse to grow up. Well, thanks to technology and a company called Orbotics, I don't have to. One of the coolest toys I've played with in a long time is the Sphero Robotic Ball. This thing is awesome. It connects to your iOS or Android smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth. You then control it with the Sphero app. You can drive Sphero, play tabletop and multiplayer games, hold Sphero in your hand to use it as a controller for on-screen gameplay, and even explore augmented reality. As of the time we're recording this video, there are 24 apps available that work with Sphero, most of them free. For instance, you've got Sphero Golf. You create a hole and then hit Sphero with the flick of a finger or a swing of your smartphone. Then you've got Sphero Pet. Choose a dog or a cat interface and drive Sphero with joystick or tilt mode. Sphero can change colors, spin wildly, shake, flip, and move in any direction you want, making it the ultimate pet toy that you control. And then there's Sphero Draw and Drive. As the name implies, this one allows you to draw a course for Sphero, then it will follow the path you drew on screen. They've even got an augmented reality app that will turn Sphero into a beaver that runs around your house. And since Sphero is waterproof and floats, you can even take it swimming. When you're done playing, just place it in its induction charger and it'll be ready for the next use. They've made developer kits available so that anyone who wants to can make their own app for Sphero. So there's really no end to the fun you can have with it. Just imagine the possibilities. We came across one video where the Sphero was put inside an orange peel. It was then brought to a produce section in a supermarket where the fun began. Sphero sells for about 130 bucks and can be found at many stores and online. You know, I've really been having a ball with this week's product spotlight. Before I roll on out of here, I want to remind you to stop by our site at intotomorrow.com where among other things, you can subscribe to our free once a week tech newsletter. Just enter your email address in the red box right there on the main page. You'll get an email asking you to confirm your subscription. Click the link to accept and you're in. It's that easy. Is the Sphero something your kids, your pets, or even you would have some fun with? What other high-tech toys do you enjoy? Share your comments below or call us toll-free anytime, 24-7, via the Ask Dave hotline, 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. Of course, you can also use our free Into Tomorrow app for your mobile devices. It's available on many platforms. We look forward either way to hearing your call on the air and then sending you a prize for participating. How would you like to win a new iPad? Stay tuned into tomorrow and we'll tell you how easy it will be with a new giveaway coming soon. Who was the first president to have their picture taken? Chris is back with the answer and other cool tidbits on This Week in Tech History. This week in 1849, President James Polk became the first president to be photographed. The photo was taken by Matthew Brady in New York City. In 1963, the very first Boeing 727 took off. It became the world's most popular way to fly. Nearly 2,000 of the aircraft were built before production stopped in 1984. 
And this week in 1998, AOL raised its monthly flat access rate from 1995 to 2195, explaining that it needed to upgrade its network to handle the onslaught of people taking advantage of its flat price. Gee, I wonder where that business model got them. Goodbye. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA, the International Funkausstellung in Berlin, one of the foremost consumer tech shows in the world with its own rich history. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Thanks, Chris. Have you gotten social with us lately? If you don't already, be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. You can find links to all of our social media on our site at intotomorrow.com. That'll do it for this week's ITTV Update. I'm Dave Graveline. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.